All right, it is time to talk tech with your gadget geeks, David D and Lena Girl. Hey, respect the tech. <laughs> but maybe not the tech companies, brother. Well, 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 I mean, you well. hear how these computer and these, these the software is taking jobs from humans, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, robots, they're doing all kind of crazy stuff. In but, Amazon, they get the warehouse, you mm -hmm. know, they do that, and then they get the self-checkout registers. Now. Yes, yes, they have all of those kinds of things. So they're replacing humans. But now, they're starting to take jobs from each other. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, we check this. Wikipedia, right? You know mm. Wikipedia. It's yes. that free online encyclopedia is seeing a noticeable drop in traffic as more users turn to ChatGPT <laughs> and Google AI summaries for information. Why are you why are you like putting one emphasis and staring at me? Chat because GPT, you use those things Google every AI. single day. <laughs> well, according to Wikimedia, the Wikimedia Foundation, human page views have fallen 8% in recent months compared to the same period in 2024. And I think it's going to continue to happen. Yeah. It's just, you know, instead of, you know, typing in Wikipedia and trying to go to that and then search, it's just easier to just type it right in that search that engine for Google yeah. and boom, AI Gemini pops up all kinds of stuff for Not you. Not to right? mention, Wikipedia is always soliciting for donations. Yeah. But it's free, that's why. It's a free online source. So is ChatGPT. That one is, and they're not asking for money. You know, but this is another <laughs> example of robots taking jobs from humans, self-driving taxis. Now, <gasps> last week, Candace and I were visiting Ohana in Vegas, and Lena Girl challenged us to ride the self-driving taxi Zooks. Zooks, right? We talked about that. Here's a, some video on that uh, actually Candace shot from the car. That There it is. <gasps> they had, you know, we saw them kind of cruising all over the place. And Are you in it? Are no, you no, in no, it? No, no, no. I'm in a regular car driven by Jessica, my sister-in-law. Oh. <laughs> and I was contemplating trying it out, bef but before I did, I saw the story about the hacker who caused the traffic jam oh, yeah. with Waymo, the other autonomous vehicle rideshare service. Yes, brother, I did see that. It's a 23-year-old techie organized a Waymo DDoS or distributed denial of service attack where 50 <laughs> people simultaneously ordered Waymo self-driving cars on a dead-end street in San Francisco. And the prank overwhelmed the system, disrupted the operation, and caused a major traffic jam. It was actually in a neighborhood in like a cul-de-sac. Yep, right so there. You had, <laughs> you had all of these cars, they, they couldn't go anywhere because they, it was overwhelmed. Right. So I, I, I was watch, looking at the thing and I'm like, bro, I just, I just cannot... I'm not there yet to, to put my hands into... <laughs> or your body into a vehicle that is... That, yeah. Animal control, you know? Right. I mean, I'm not a control freak or anything. Yes, but yes. <laughs> If he could fly the airplane, he would. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm not smart enough. Anyway, the prank allowed Waymo to adjust their systems to yeah. prevent a similar event which is good, so now they know they can prepare for the next one. All right. Well, I'm I'm sad that you didn't get a chance to jump into the zoo. I got video, though. Thanks for the video. Yeah, Candice took video. That yeah, nice. I appreciate that. Now we're going to take a real quick break, and we'll be back with two very special wahine, Na Kumu Mehano Kala Hind and Hinale Moana Wong Kalu Wiku Kala Kanaka, coming up next. All right.